Hey guys, welcome back to Ninja Boy. Yes, and of course, you're here for yet another amazing reaction. Wag one, wag one, my guys. So please, I know a lot has been up on the social media. A lot has been up in the music industry, music space. You know, this track here and they're flying from one country to another country. Thank God it's not flying from continent to continent. It's just Nigeria and Ghana, but I don't know. I couldn't just really... It says Sakodi went for our three, three goats. And everybody so it's from Sakodi to Dremo to Lyrical Joe. So if you are here on this channel, if you are here on this video, I'm going to be checking out the two diss tracks of Sakodi and Lyrical Joe. Um, I'm a really avid lover of Lyrical Joe. So I really want to even know what he said or what he was talking about. So if you're new to this channel, please smash the subscribe button, like this video. Um, let's get straight to listening to, first of all, Sakodi's own. This one is titled to brag. Hmm. Who is bragging? Sako D, one of the biggest rap. He's the biggest, he's not the biggest musician out of Ghana, I think. Let's check this out, guys. Let's go. Brad by Sako D. Damn, damn, damn. Again, when I was supposed to, numbing and I'm a hand nobody to go to. Poor boy from the gutter, I went again, I did to eat, but I was thinking about selling the old two. I never gave up on a dream, but I was close to even the people with it for coach you. But seriously, right from time, I think everybody knows that that Sako D is actually a goat when it comes to rap. You know, I, I can remember back in those days, man, it was always majorly, majorly Sako D from Ghana, along the likes of Emma in Nigeria, Vector in Nigeria. I need the main person that we really were hearing his name as a rapper from Ghana or Sakodi. So, you know, give him his, give him his flowers, man. That man is, is an OG. Started switching up on me and I was losing it. I feel me saying it was up. I got everybody in the ghost you. I had a feeling I was going to be big. I had a hard people see me put my money where my mouth is. Come my brother, my man, my man, me send me my cash. I'm not supposed to be sleeping on these couches. Yeah. I was born to make it out of the ghetto. A couple of mama the rolling and buy myself a couple houses. Yeah. Bitch, I'm trying to touch a meal. Put your pussy on the side. Give me space. Make it not touch my trousers. <laughs> I'm trying to make a molly put your pussy on the side. Give me space. Make you not touch my trousers. Damn. So uh, right now, I've not seen any this. But it's majorly talking about I put all effort into, you know, making it in the game. You know, the goal was, you know, sell out O2. Like, be big, 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 big artist. Yeah, that would have been. Like, for now, I've not seen any it for anybody. But let's go. Now I I just said it na 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 and he dropped whiskey on me. <laughs> His name he was waiting for me to just say okay. I've not seen anything, but now whiskey did what? Whiskey came. I was already doing it. David Doe started when I was improving it, and then Odogu came through. Black sheriff to watch a camp still gone. Would you thought I was losing it? <laughs> man, he even mentioned Black Sherry from Ghana too, man. Yay! So imagine whiskey, David Do, Dogu, Bag Sheriff to Ashake. So he had a new, or let me put it this way, he actually knows the influence of Ashake too. Hmm, amazing. My biggest competition is Kedrick and Cole. Those guys are outsiders now. My biggest competition is Kedrick and Cole. Tonight I'm touching the club, spending some dough. Hey, I see the microphone and I'm ready to go. The ball raps in and the socket be told. Me did it, I'm in that throat. Ah, I pass the test, I took flight. I swear the shit is too light. I got a break, I'm too quiet. I'm about my bed, I'm so tight. Snipe these rappers on sight. Fuck with me, I'm gonna, gonna strike. I put in the work, we don't hide. When it comes to this, I'm too nice. So I've, I don't know, except if the thing we're going to talk about, Whiskey, Davido, and Odogu. He did it for me, for me. He didn't really say anything much. He said when Whiskey came, I was already in the game. When Davido came out, I was already improving it. You know, and he mentioned, it's not as though... That's to me, shall let's continue. Let's go. Mm, say in Ghana, nobody has the nerves. But I feel if um, Sakodi is going to, uh, of course, I've given him his gold status, man. I've given him his gold status. But now, if anybody's going to like battle it up with Sakodi, though I don't know a lot of 
Ghana artist by no lyrical Joe. Please, guys, I know lyrical Joe. Lyrical Joe could put it off with this guy. And lyrical Joe, I don't, I don't want to say anything much, but I know lyrical Joe could put it off with Sarko D. I don't know about every other rapper in Ghana, but lyrical Joe, I know. So if if he say nobody has a nerve in Ghana, maybe then, no now. Wait for response, but I do that again. That should be joke. I swear to God, Ghana had nobody had a nerve. It was me myself and I. Where I carry all the load. You gotta check yourself when you talk to me. Told the B I was at the kind was that you messing with the goat. Hmm. Been through it all, so the nigga don't stop. Hope y'all taking notes. Yeah. Like Drake, I be walking through the six with my. I told you corny niggas said they kill the cold. So my charging the battery and I'm ready to go. Started with a couple niggas, but never be cold. Few people rapping my way, we never the fold. Anytime I hop on beat, I start compete. Cause the nigga come from street and I don't sleep. I gotta get back on feet. I don't cheat. Make I want the start complete. Got some heat. So many No, 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 no. Give it to Sako D, man. Sako D is actually a good artist. I've seen it over and over again. Disney putting respect to his name. He did it. He actually to to Certain degree puts Ghana on the on the map of music. Yes, I could do that. I can, I can attest to that because I'm telling you for a very long time when the, in my younger days or younger years, I only knew Sakudi from Ghana. <laughs> he was the only one, and then he had a lot of like feature songs with kind of some Nigerian artists back then. Yeah, so with that, we a lot of us knew Sakudi. Up just now, you know, now recent years, we know we now know a lot of them. Kamido, um, Black Sharif, Lyrical Joe, we now know quite a number of other, other, other Ghanaian artists, but Sakodi is a goat. So anything he's bragging about, give it to him, he can brag about it. He can, he can. I don't speak, cause a lot of these rappers don't stack on beef. Let's be honest, how many rappers could rap on this type beef? Top it on if they're not gonna freeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he said how many rappers can rap on this. Bro, I can tell you a lot of rappers that can rap on this. Now, maybe back then, they might not be plenty, but they are a lot right now. So guys, this is, this is suck of this brag. I actually don't say anything that could, like, cause a lot of orishi rishi, you know. Coming up on the media space for Dremo to respond. I haven't listened to Dremo's track. Um, I listen to it soon. But let me I want to go straight now to um what's his name? Lyrical Joe's. Yeah, I heard Lyrical Joe released one too. It's titled 1960. So I want to know what Lyrical Joe has to say about this. Uh, I really want to do. I'm a fan of Lyrical Joe. So Lyrical Joe, guys, let's get on this list and listen to Lyrical Joe's track. Let's go. Now, Lyrical Joe is using the same beat, I think. That's not the same beat, I just really mean. But he said, we, oh God, damn it. He said, which other rapper? Sakodi said, which other rapper can jump on this beat? And Lyrical Joe is jumping on it. Lyrical Joe! Go dead. Step to the fire, get roasted. Walking on water, I floated. Still got the world on my shoulders. Yeah. Put you in a place that you don't wanna be. Better be blind, cause this is what you don't wanna see. Top 10, top 5, convo is ripped. Cause I'm giving the fuck, I don't wanna give. Mm. Men to the side, girls to the side. We wear the rap game, y'all are yet to decide. Mm. Afro beat slave queens trying to engage in the rap. Marital affairs, bitch, you aside. <laughs> see, we haven't even gone one minute in this, man. Really could you ask? Finish the beat. Sentiment aside, guys. Sentiment aside. If you deal here with an idea since, from Sakoditi now. You go know now. Bass day, yes. But little could they always deliver now. Make I just continue, you know. Welcome to the land of boss. I went to many battles and I healed them scars. If this was a keyboard, you tried to be harsh, little nigga. But we only press in your stars. So young man, this is like election in your own land. Cause if you run against shot, got you feeling like Peter Obi, you about to get beaten by an old man. <laughs> So yeah, Lil Joe actually responded to Dremos this track, yeah. So he's actually kind of eating it as Ghanaian eating Nigerians. This time around, thank God the battle was not Ghana Jollof Ice and um Nigerian Jollof Ice. I like the father, it's actually music, you know. Let us throw some shades at ourselves with music. Ah, let's do some of those things. So let us just be banting on Twitter, tweet it to music. And I love this. I love the father that doing this. They might not do it for so long, but at least, you'll say, it's back to back. So, Lyrical Joe was talking about our Peter Obi, and I think he was telling Dremo, you're going to be beaten by an old man, that's Sakodi. I think I'm, I got that. Let me listen to it again. 
But we only press in your stars So young man This is like election in your own land Cause if you run against shock Got you feeling like Peter Obi You about to get beaten by an old, old man. man And if you know Peter Obi was beaten by an old man in Nigeria And you know A presidential election Ashiwa Jutinobu beat Peter Obi the young guy So if I'm getting this correctly, he's trying to say Sakodi, the old man will beat you, will dream of the young guys. Old man, Primo, you got attention from Ghana, it must be a Primo, but I'm putting you back to sleep going Primo. I'm a nightmare, hi Primo. Did I say it well? Is it Dremo? Huh? Oh, you said that? <laughs> oh, you played with Dremo's name for me. Dremo, Dremo, did I say it well? No, now, little Kujo, we know you're good, so please, please cool it down, bro. <laughs> Energy for the power out, but you're trying to be a beef generator. The rap game in your country is still merry merry. So watch the Holy Ghost penetrate. Mm. The rap game in my country is still merry merry. What do you mean? What do you mean by that, Lyrical Joe? Why? This is harsh. There'll be a lot of good, big, amazing rappers, man. What do you say? Vector, M, I, Ladipo. I can't even mention all of them. AQ. Is AQ for my country? <laughs> I, know a lot of, I, I don't know all of them's name, though. But I know AQ, but I don't know if AQ is from Nigeria. I think he's a Ghanaian. Let's continue. I do this for the motherland, so let it marry since you're coming from the fatherland. It means you got boss. But let the nigga that birth your jump and I won't let your fatherland out. Put you in the trance, I'll hide your boy like wheeze. Don't come at ass with them feminine steez in your voice. And if I ever flow like a bitch, you'll be hot enough to put your star boy every door on his knees. Shout out to somebody literally I. Why now? This guy is using all the artist's name. He have used whiskey. They have used David Dona is using Zamani Ice Prince. Bro, this thing is going to be tight. Oh. I'm looking for somebody in Nigeria that will actually respond to Lyrical Joe. But if you try, I think Lyrical Joe can murder you. I'm serious. I've listened to a lot of Lyrical Joe's raps, and this guy can murder anybody on rap, man. So I don't know. I don't know who can actually stand to to with Lyrical Joe from Nigeria. I, I'm serious. This is not being favorite or favoritic or anything. I'm not, I'm a Nigerian, but I can't really say who can stand toe to toe with Lyrical Joe. But I know we have awesome rappers as well. This is cold, but I heard a nigga said I'm not ice, I'm cold. Well, this is shot on shot. I just put you in the blanket since you're not ice, but cold. I'm running through the motherfucking industry. We take it for the seven millimeter in the chemistry, the cemetery. I buried everybody very brutally. The lyrical jagger not is bringing it up beyond the monetary. You don't wanna catch rap, this is like cancer. It's gonna be hard to get back to Afro. We already know y'all didn't get hard. We rap, so y'all hard to go and use Afro. That's your dizzy act. Reply hard and we can get busier. I mean you and whoever wanna rap with me, we can dig more deep to get speedy Really, I'm saying you are fu Seriously, it's really drawing the line, man. Really could do is drawing the line that whosoever it is. So he's saying we can own our Afro, you know, like Afro beats, no? Take it. But when it comes to this, this game of rap. Liquid J is trying to tell us hey, they are going to finish us. Hey! I don't know what else to say, oh. Oh boy, ask MI, we push boys, we don't talk boys. I got a rap game on my laptop, say you they come from Niger, do it like the fraud boys. I told boys, wrong choice in a convoy, with no noise, hot boys, we don't watch toys. They stay void, move forward, I'm a rap boy. I'm in for the long ride like a limousine, please bring your convoy. <laughs> Go dead, step to the fire, get roasted. Walking on water, I floated. Still got the world on my shoulders. Young nigga, I'm go dead. Step to the fire, get roasted. Walking on water, I floated. Still got the world on my shoulders. Beast. Rico could you kill this beat, man. Rico freaking kill this beat. I don't want to say the F word, but he freaking kill this beat, man. And the battle line is drawn, guys. I don't know why he even tied to this song in 1960. Is he talking about our independence? Oh, every part of this song, it just we're all throwing shades at us, man. Anyway, we know it's, it's not a rap game, this, everything. But guys, guys, I don't know who will settle this one. I think I have to listen to Dr Dremo's um, track too, so I, I will tell you my take if Dremo really gave them out too. But, but for, for Sarko D's own, he really didn't actually take any shot at Nigerians. So I don't know why Dremo responded. Or maybe there's a tweet or something that got him to respond. I don't know. but. I know Lyrical Joe's track is really to respond to Dremo and you know, give a shout, a shout, a shot at us, like back to back. So, guys, I've checked it out. I don't even know what to say. You guys are good with a rap game, Ghanaians, man. I'm very sure my rappers here in Nigeria, they are prepping. Let's see who we're going to win this. Like I said the other time, thank God we're not 
arguing about jollof rice. Let's, let's talk about music, man. You see us there. Yeah, everybody. Bring in, bring in your tools. So guys, I like this, man. Let's see where this is going to end. <laughs> so if you, like this, if you like these two tracks, like these two artists from Ghana, smash the like button. I don't know if there's a winner yet. I'm not giving any winner. We can put down the winner in the comment section. I don't know. I'll check out Dremel's one too, so we can talk about that later on. <laughs> so guys, see you in the next actual video. Remember, I was a Nigerian boy. Peace out.